Hi guys, welcome to WebSense Pro. Welcome to another video. So this video is related to search engine optimization. If you are a Shopify store owner, you might be spending a lot of money on paid advertisement, PPC, and it's really hard to get in by to rank on top on Google. And obviously there are a lot of competition, but in this video, I'll give you a walkthrough of what you can do to improve your ranking using an app, which I'm going to show you guys. And it's an AI tool. This app will AI powered you to boost your search engine optimization, boost your SEO and search engine listing. Now, if you go to Hrefs and SEMrush, you can check that out that average cost to search engine optimization. If you hire an agency, marketing agency, it's going to cost you about $2,000 to $3,000. But using this app, you can automate a lot of work like keyword research, creating blog posts using the AI tool which this app will give you. Even if you buy a SEMrush, it's going to cost you $150 a month, but this app is much, much cheaper and it's going to help you boost search engine optimization of your Shopify store really effectively. So if you want to learn how you can boost SEO of your Shopify store, keep watching this video. So the app which I'm going to be showing is Broadroom SEO and Data Analytics. You can go over this 50 seconds video where they'll show you how you can do keyword research and how you can control and review all of your Shopify store data and connect multiple ad accounts, multiple analytics account and use AI assisted keyword research in order to enhance search engine optimization. So you have to have some data in order to rank better for the keywords which have keyword search volume. So if you are ranking for a keyword where there's no search volume, there's no use for that. Because if no one's searching for that keyword and you're ranking on top on that keyword, it's completely redundant to, redundant to have your website on top because no one's searching it. But in using the AI tool with this app, it will give you keyword suggestion and give you monthly search volume, estimated CPC and the competition ranking difficulty to make it easy for you to rank for those keywords, which keywords are actually getting traffic, right? And you can also create instant AI blogging. So if you are manually creating blogs, this AI tool can help you create blogs, which are really effective. They have optimized title tag, optimized meta description and page headings. This app also has this AI insights feature, which will help you analyze data from your store and give you suggestion on how, how you can improve it. Also, you can connect multiple ad accounts and you can maximize return on your ad spend and analyze the data of what's the conversion is costing you, what's the CPC and what's your return on investment. So let's install that app. I have already installed that on my store and connected it. You'll have to click on install and it will give you the stall screen, which will look like this after the installation. The app will look like this where you will have everything showing up. I have currently connected the development store, so I'm not seeing any data, but you will see the total revenue of your store, sales channel background. And if you have the ad account connected, you will see the analytics showing up here. Now let's dive into the SEO features of this app. So let's click on this arrow here to expand the menu. And here we have SEO AI tools. So click on that. And one of the most important thing in SEO is doing proper keyword research. Just as I told you guys that this tool will help you using AI to identify which keywords you should be targeting and which you should be working on. And it will not just only give you the keywords, it will also create instant blog posts to optimize those keywords. So let's go to keyword research and try to do some research for the keywords of our store. So that's how the keyword suggestion tools look like. And I'm going to go to my store and I'm going to show you the products which I have on my store. So these are the products which I have on my store. So for example, if I'm selling leather case for airports and I need to find potential keywords to optimize SEO of my store. And uh, so I'm going to type in airports case and I have the region selected as US because I wanted to sell to US market. Okay, now click on generate. Okay, now we have all of the data about this keyword. You can see we have 
these keywords showing up where we can see what's the cost per click estimated cost per click so airport gates monthly search volume is 110k and the estimated cost per click is 0.59 and the ad competition is showing that it's really heavy competition so it's giving you the data from google ads that it is really hard to rank and that's easier a little easier for seo ranking so that's the seo ranking where 100 being the most difficult and zero is the most easiest keyword so here we can find out that this keyword is relatively easy to rank so if i expand this you can see airports case with keychain have 320 search volume it's really competitive when we talk about the paid ad but it's easier to rank when we see the seo ranking difficulty which is just 19 and one other keyword which we can find out here is you can see it's completely zero competition if we talk about the seo ranking and monthly search volume is 320 so you can get potential sales from this keyword and all you have to do is just creating blog posts submitting this to google search console i have created multiple videos related to seo related to google search console which you can find out on my channel i'll put the link in the description below so let's create a blog post for this keyword where i can see that there is completely there's literally zero competition and it's a really high competition if we talk about the pay ads but it's getting good monthly source search volume so if we rank it organically we can potentially get some sales out of it okay now let's click on create blog post to see what this ai tool can give us so let's click on create blog post and here we will need to add the topic of the article so we can just add do you use case for your airpods so airpods is the is my product which i'm going to sell on my store and this is just a title of the article which we will need and we have added the primary keyword which we want to rank we can add desired word count we can also give a specific blog post title but in this case i want this ai tool to suggest me what are the options which we have and we can also add the tone which we would like to use and any additional instructions which we can add here and this is one of the helpful article which can give you an idea that how long it's going to take you to rank and most of the studies show that it's going to take four to six months but if you're lucky uh, you can rank faster than that but again seo is a long-term game it's not like epc where you will just pay the money to google and rank on top seo is a slow process and it's gonna take you some time to rank well on google and if you're thinking about that google will penalize you generating ai content so it's not the case you just have to create quality content and if you have great heading blog post title and looking and some pictures which are looking good you might be ranking really fast so let's generate this blog post so click on generate blog post here and here we have our article ready Now we can directly publish it to our Shopify store. All we have to do is just click on this publish to Shopify store and it will directly post it to our Shopify store. And we can also open our SEO editor, which will give us the complete SEO score that whether if it's optimized for SEO or optim or, or not. So we'll have to like add more keywords is suggesting us that please add more keyword, suggesting it to add a meta description and all of that stuff to improve the SEO score. So all of these are AI generated suggestions, which you can do to improve and rank your blog post real fast. Now let's go over some other features which this app is offering. So if we hover over here, we have option to create content for product description, SEO blog post, we already tried that. We can also brainstorm some of the email template ideas using this app and all is included in the package and let's go over the seo edit part so you can audit your search engine optimization i don't have any data here because i have the development store and it's not currently indexed so you might have more data here if you install that app now let's go over the next part where we have 
website detailed overview about total revenue, total orders, units sold, cross profit margin, and a lot of other important data which can help you navigate your marketing direction and which will help you the area where you want to focus more. We have some other reports as well. So if I hover over here and click on advertising, you can see we can check out the revenue conversion rate from multiple ad accounts, which we are running. Reports on inventory. So here we have the complete inventory information about the products. As you can see, it's not showing up anything because of my development store. If you'll have the live store, it will give you all of the details. Let's go over this customer part where you can find out everything about your customers. That what is the total gross revenue, average customer life value, average order value, and what is your returning customer rate, which is really important to know. You can also see the segments of the customer. It will give you the complete overview of who are the big spenders on your stores and who are the one hit wonders who just bought the product for once and haven't bought anything, who are the repeat buyers. Again, a lot of useful information which you can carry out, which you can extract from this app. Heat map is where your customer is actually located. So it will give you the heat map of your customer locations. Cool, right? And one other thing which is also really cool. So if I go back to the home page and here we have this AI insights, which I also previously discussed that it will help you analyze your data by clicking on this analyze data button and it's powered by chat GPT, which will help you brainstorm the ideas to enhance more sale and analyze all of the data as per your preferences using this chat type format. Okay, let's discuss the link builder feature which we have here. So if we go back to our app, we have this app link builder where you can directly buy the external links. Now, if you are not sure about what are external links and what is off page SEO, I have created some videos which you can check out on my channel. Yeah, so off page SEO is basically help analyze Google that how many backlinks are pointing towards your website, which have authority and one way to analyze the authority is DA, which is called domain authority. So if you have used Moz or SEMrush, they have these extension, which you install on the browser and visit any website. They'll give you the actual domain authority of that specific website. And this app, you can directly buy the backlinks as per the price given here. So if you are not tech savvy, and if you don't want to go into the off page SEO, you can easily buy links directly within this app without hiring any external resource or without going to any other marketplace which are selling backlinks. So that's it for the video guys. I gave you the complete overview of the boardroom SEO and data analytics app, which is a really cool app. You should definitely try that out if you are a Shopify store merchant and if you want to save cost of hiring external marketing agency for your search engine optimization. Until next video, have a great day.